People are regularly having problems with certain plugins or themes on their WordPress website. Maybe they've got a website with just five plugins or maybe loads more. And then an update occurs and they often start to blame one or two plugins and they go onto a forum and they say, hey, what's happening? I just ran an update and there is a problem. Often you don't really get much more detail other than I just updated this plugin and there is a problem. Now, I'm not saying Elemental is the fault here, but that is the one I tend to see a lot, mainly because I'm part of lots of Elemental community forum groups. Now, the question I always ask people is what other plugins and theme do you have? What is your PHP memory limit? But fundamentally, the point of this video is that if you go and run an update on any plugin, and you haven't done it on a staging site or a test dummy website or something like that. But if you are running updates and you're just going to go update, update, update or enable auto update, what you really should do is start to deactivate and see at what point does the problem still exist? Because it may be that when you deactivate certain plugins, the one you thought at fault was not at fault. And maybe it was another third party or maybe it could be that another plugin that you did update like two weeks ago when it ran OK that actually conflicts with something else. And today's video is sponsored by Kinsta. Having support sometimes feels like a dream, right? Kinsta totally make it a reality with their 24 seven support team. They've got a 98% satisfaction rate and these pros are just a live chat or an email away. They're ready to solve your problem in minutes. Forget the waiting, forget the frustration. It doesn't matter if it's 2 p.m. or 2 a.m. They're there to help you. The Kinsta support team's got your back. So sleep easy knowing that you're in safe hands with Kinsta. My big tip is that you deactivate and you test certain widgets. Go and remove some codes or how about looking at some of the optimization you've added. It could be a plugin, could be a JavaScript, could be a code snippet, could be anything you've added to your website. Now some of you are going to say but I've added in so much stuff it's going to take me like one hour to go through systematically and I haven't got time to do that. Let me tell you now when your website or a client website goes down or maybe you go to the mobile menu and you hit the toggle and the toggle's just not dropping down and you're going, what? Everything was fine yesterday. Why is it not working? Maybe your icons have disappeared. Maybe you notice like the font loading like three seconds after the page loads. So you see the swap occur. You could very easily just go in and start deactivating or just revisiting what is in the website. You just create a copy. It ain't going to take you that long. And even if it takes you one hour, what do you want to do? Post a question on a forum, get like 20 different responses. None of them actually relate to your problem because all you said was, I ran an update and the website's gone down. Well, that doesn't actually tell us everything you've got loaded into your website. It's all about trial and error. You got to put in the time. You got to do the heavy lifting. You've got to go in and deactivate, activate, remove a code, add a code, maybe not add a code, but you got to go through systematically look at everything you got on your website and eventually the problem will become clear. And when you do find the problem, you've got to make a decision now. Do you keep what was causing the problem? Do you modify? Do you go back to where you got the code or the problem or the snippet or the plugin? You now have to evaluate because you can't just every time a website goes down, turn around to the client and go, yeah, it was due to an update. Because when that plugin then introduces a fix or an update that maybe does something else, and the problem still exists, you can't keep blaming the plugin. So spend a bit of time whenever you find a problem to do a bit of trial and error. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit.